Flight 7 may have ruled out catching ship during Flight 8, but the next mission is still set to be groundbreaking. With major upgrades targeting the first success with Ship V2, excitement is building. Elon Musk has teased some of these improvements, giving us a glimpse of what's to come. So how will Starship evolve for Flight 8? Stay tuned for today's episode of Great SpaceX to find out. After Flight 7, many people have raised doubts about SpaceX's Starship, particularly in regard to the ship catching plan. While the concept of catching the Starship mid-air using a massive system of flaps is innovative, achieving this vision is far from straightforward. SpaceX still faces numerous hurdles that need to be overcome, and the recent Flight 7 highlighted some of these issues. In this latest flight, multiple problems surfaced with the ship, including fuel leaks and fires in the aft flap. These issues were significant because they directly contributed to the failure that led to SpaceX activating the flight termination system. While the FTS is a crucial safety measure, it's an indication that things went seriously wrong during the flight. Among the various problems, fuel leaks were considered the main cause. Musk later tweeted that oxygen and fuel leaks occurred in the cavity above the ship's engine firewall. This is a critical area because it houses key systems that manage the flow of fuel and oxygen to the engines. In this case, the fuel likely leaked into the cavity, accumulated, and created pressure that exceeded the venting system's capacity. This excessive pressure could have triggered a fire, which in turn contributed to the failure of the engines. This fire, caused by the leaked fuel, would have disrupted the functioning of the ship's engines one by one, ultimately leading to the rocket losing control. A loss of control in the middle of a flight, especially one involving a massive rocket like Starship, is a very serious issue. The details of this problem were discussed more thoroughly in a previous episode, so if you want a closer look at the technical aspects, the link is in the description. So how will SpaceX address these issues and move forward? To fix a problem as complex as a fuel leak, SpaceX will need to take a methodical and precise approach. Musk has already shared some of the first steps the company will take to address this issue. The first priority will be to conduct a thorough investigation to pinpoint the exact cause of the problem. Musk emphasized the importance of double-checking all aspects of the system. Identifying the precise location of the issue is crucial as the source of the leak could be elsewhere in the system. The more detailed and accurate the diagnosis, the more effective the upgrades will be. Once the problem is fully understood, SpaceX will implement upgrades to resolve the issue. One of the first solutions involves adding a fire suppression system to the areas where the fuel leak occurred. SpaceX is likely to incorporate sensors that can detect unusual fire activity. These sensors would then activate a specialized fire suppression system to extinguish the fire before it spreads and affects the engines. The fire suppression system could work in several ways. For example, the cooling system might be used to deliver water to put out the fire. Alternatively, Carbon dioxide byproducts generated by the engines could also be used to suppress the fire. Another possibility is a cutoff system designed to deprive the fire of oxygen, effectively weakening it over time. This multi-pronged approach should help contain any fire that might arise due to fuel leaks. In addition to directly addressing the fire hazard, SpaceX could take an indirect approach by increasing the vent area. In the current design, the vent system may be too small, leading to a slower evacuation of air compared to the speed at which fuel is leaking. This accumulation of fuel and pressure could make the problem worse. By increasing the vent area, SpaceX would allow air to escape more efficiently, reducing the chances of fuel buildup and pressure overload. While this solution may sound simple, it requires careful consideration to avoid disrupting other vital systems. These are the two major solutions that Musk has revealed so far, but there are many other areas where upgrades may be necessary. The engine heat shield system may need improvements to better protect the engine in case of failures. The Raptor 2 engine currently in use is powerful, but still contains many small sensitive parts prone to failure. While we eagerly await Raptor 3 with its expected upgrades, it may not be ready for the next flight or two. As a result, reinforcing the heat shield and other protective systems for the Raptor 2 engines is critical. While this could add weight to the rocket, the extra mass may be a necessary trade-off for increased safety. The aft flap system also requires upgrades. Unlike the forward flap, which has undergone numerous changes, the aft flap has remained largely unchanged with its original 180-degree symmetrical position. SpaceX may consider making the aft flap smaller, similar to the forward flap, and optimizing the joints, which are vulnerable to stress. 
Additionally, the heat shield around the aft flap must be reinforced to ensure better protection during high stress phases of flight. These upgrades are likely necessary to address issues from Flight 7, though other potential problems may still need attention. If you have any suggestions for additional upgrades, feel free to share your thoughts in the comments section down below. In any case, as SpaceX moves forward, it will be critical for them to not only address these problems, but also continue strengthening their systems to maintain their track record of success. Maintaining reliability and building on improvements will be critical for future milestones. One of several significant achievements from Flight 7 was the performance of the heat shield during ascent. Musk praised the adhesion of the heat shield tiles, marking a significant improvement from earlier flights where vibrations caused frequent tile loss. Ensuring the heat shield's stability during liftoff and ascent lays a strong foundation for future missions and more demanding conditions. Another key area of success has been engine performance. The Raptor engines have shown stable operation at higher thrust levels, supporting increasingly complex maneuvers. However, during the boost bag burn on Flight 7, one engine failed to ignite initially, but performed well later during landing. SpaceX will need to address such anomalies to ensure consistent reliability across all engines in both stages. The forward flaps also demonstrated their effectiveness during ascent in Flight 7. This system, which has undergone design upgrades, performed well and will need to continue functioning optimally as it plays a crucial role in stability and navigation throughout the flight sequence. As SpaceX progresses, preparations for unproven tasks are crucial. For example, the payload and dispenser system, not used in the last flight, requires thorough testing to identify potential issues and ensure smooth operation without risks during missions. The engine systems also need further refinement to handle tasks like relighting in space, aiding navigation, deceleration, and supporting landings. SpaceX has already tested reignition in space during Flight 6 and landing control several times in 2024, laying a foundation for enhanced reliability in upcoming flights. Reentry is one of the most critical phases, placing significant stress on the heat shield and flaps. While these systems performed well during ascent, reentry will test the forward flaps' new design and position, as well as upgrades to the heat shield, including metallic trials and active cooling systems. These systems are also essential for precise navigation during landing. Upgrades for the next flight will span multiple systems. With S-34 and B-15 at the production site after cryogenic tests, it's clear that improvements are already underway. These prototypes will demonstrate SpaceX's advancements and represent a key step toward greater mission reliability. Flight 8 will be a critical milestone, addressing past challenges and advancing SpaceX's goal of fully reusable rockets. Each test provides valuable insights, bringing the company closer to its ambitious goals. All eyes are on Flight 8 to see how these upgrades perform and what breakthroughs it will achieve. In other news, Rocket Factory Osberg, or RFA for short, a German startup, has made a significant stride following its setback during a rocket test last year. The company recently secured a launch license from the UK's Civil Aviation Authority, or CAA for short, enabling it to perform an orbital launch from the Saxevoord spaceport in the Shetland Islands. This announcement made by the CAA on the 16th of January represents a milestone not just for RFA, but for Europe's broader space ambitions. This license is historic, marking the first granted by the CAA for a vertical orbital launch from the UK or mainland Europe, and the first for a private European company. Jorn Sperman, RFA's co-founder and chief commercial officer, emphasized the significance of this achievement. This is a groundbreaking moment for RFA and for Europe's space industry. This license marks Europe's bold step toward independent, competitive, and sustainable space access. By enabling cost-effective and flexible launches from European mainland, we are laying the foundation for a new era of space exploration and commercialization, ensuring Europe remains at the forefront of the global space race. The license grants RFA the ability to launch up to 10 missions annually with its RFA-1 rocket limited to two per month. It includes orbit restrictions for public safety, requiring 60-day prior notification to the CAA, and adjustments for mission or rocket design changes. While no specific date has been confirmed, the first launch is tentatively set for late 2025, a timeline established before last year's failed test. Despite the first stage prototype failure, RFA is pressing ahead with preparations to meet its license requirements. This is a significant step for both RFA and Europe's space sector as they compete with Vega C and Ariane 6, in the 2025 commercial space race. Space race. 
RFA's progress highlights Europe's drive for independent, sustainable space access and a stronger position in the global aerospace industry. The months ahead will reveal if RFA's bold vision and recent licensing milestone will ignite a breakthrough, setting a new course for Europe in the competitive commercial space arena. The future is limitless, and the stars are within reach. This has been Kevin with Great SpaceX. Thank you for joining us, and until next time, keep dreaming big, keep looking up, and reach for the stars.